Hi, welcome back to Storytime with Susan. We are continuing to read our book, Geronimo Stilton, The Curse of the Cheese Pyramid. We're on chapter eight, so let's begin. Chapter eight, Frozen with Fear. Terrified, I squeezed my special lucky charm. It was a silver four-leaf clover. My nephew Benjamin had given it to me for my birthday. A tear slid down my fur. I wondered if I would ever see my beloved nephew again. The plane was jumping up and down, like my sister Thea in her step class at Rats La Lang. I was frozen with fear. Why, oh why, did I get on this rat trap of a plane? Just as I was about to drown in my own tears, we stopped bouncing. The flight attendant made an announcement. The turbulence is over, she squeaked. Passengers are requested to keep their seat belts fastened. We'll be landing in half an hour. I heaved a sigh of relief. I knew we would make it, I told myself. But of course, I spoke too soon. Seconds later, disaster struck. The engines died. The silence was sickening. What did I tell you, simple snout? The captain's voice squeaked. I won the bet. I told you the fuel wouldn't last. I could hear the co-pilot grumbling. Okay, boss, I guess you won. Looks like we need to try that emergency landing again, he sighed. My eyes popped open. Emergency? Landing? Help! I shrieked. I couldn't take it anymore. My nerves were shot. What did I do to deserve this ending? I tried to be a good big brother to Thea. I know I was a doting uncle to Benjamin. And then, of course, there was my cousin Trap. Well, I guess I could try to be a better cousin. But Trap was so annoying... He loved to play mean jokes on me, like on my birthday when he put hot chili peppers in my cheesecake. I stared out my broken window. Think positive, I told myself. The plane circled over the ocean. Then it headed for the desert. It looked like we were about to dive straight into the sand. I squeezed my eyes shut. Then suddenly... I heard a noise. Could it be? It was. The engines had started up again. With a jolt, we finally reached Cairo Airport. Wobbling, I headed for the exit. Chunky cheese chunks. What a nightmare, I squeaked. I'm surprised I didn't die of fright. Daniel E. Deadfur scampered after me. If you think you're about to go... Just give me a call, he said. He handed me his card. I shook my head and bolted out the door. Oh, what a day. Whew. Well, looks like Geronimo actually made it. And I'm glad he did. Well, join me in the next video for the next chapter. As always, like and subscribe. And have a great day.